safi mtazamaji hata kabla sija kuonyesha hiyo video clip kuna swali ambalo niko nalo hapa nataka nikuulize na sio kwa ubaya in fact uh, naomba niwie radhi kama nitakuwa na wakosea watazamaji wangu lakini lazima nitawauliza hili hapa huyu Rigathi Gashagwa nafikiria yeye ni nani mpaka anaweza kumthreaten Raila Odinga yani yani Gashagwa yani Gashagwa yani Gashagwa moja ambaye tunamjua ana nini yani <coughs> yani hata mimi mwenyewe nimeshindwa kabisa kumuelewa yani Gashagwa ni mtu wa kumthreaten kabisa Raila Odinga na kumwambia kwamba ta deal na yeye yani two weeks tu atakuwa ni deal na Raila Amolo Odinga na mimi nawaambiaga vizuri muda mwingine nyinyi viongozi. Angalieni vitu ambavyo mnavizungumza. Msizungumze tu kwa sababu watu wanawaona mnataka kuonekana sasa nyinyi ndio wenye nguvu, wenye powers na vitu kama hivyo. Mtu amwambie Gashagwa hajui Raila mbaya na deal naye. Yeye labda amesikiliza two stories. Hajui Raila ni nani. Watu nimeona wanamshambulia kwamba waachane na Raila. Hakuchaguliwa ku na Raila, alichaguliwa ku na bei ya unga itoke 250 mpaka shilingi sabini walivyosema. Yeye kujitokeza na kusema kwamba ta na Raila, yani hiyo ni ndoto kabisa ya mchana. Hata sio yani ndoto fulani ya hata sijui ni ndoto ya saa ngapi kwa sababu sio ya mchana sio ya usiku. Awezi aka awezi aka deal na Raila. Hiyo ndio ukweli ambao upo. Sasa sasa hivi naongea kama double J, siongei kama Eti, eti sasa niongee kama sijui analyst no naongee kama Mr. Double J. Hakuna sehemu anaweza kampeleka Raila Molodinga na mwambie Gashagwa. So yeye kuku, kutoka na kusema kwamba ta deal na Raila I'm, I'm like Rigiji, yani wewe umekosa vitu vya kudeal nayo kabisa yani. Yani umekosa kazi, wewe unataka kudeal na Raila. <laughs> yani lakini Ruto simwambie tu kweli aweze ya kadeal na Raila. So Ruto mwambie tu na ni Gashagwa ukweli. Ni kitu ambacho hata nyinyi wenyewe mmejaribu kipindi hicho chote hamjawahi ku na yeye. Sasa mnataka ku na yeye kivipi? Nimesh, ni yani nimeshangaa sana. Alafu hao mapastas wa Kora hawa, hao mapastas wenu ambao ni wapumbavu bado wanaendelea kuwapea hawa wanasiasa nafasi kwenye makanisa yao kumtusi Raila na kumthreaten Raila na kutreaten watu. Kuongea ku, ku, mambo ya kijinga kijinga. Hawa mapasta wenu wa Kora wa Kora hawa kutoka Mount Kenya hawa. Nimeona wamejipanga huko nyuma wana support wana club. Eh hey, baba eh hey, baba wezi deal na wewe hey, wana club. Ni kitu kipi ambacho mnafanya? So mmekosa kazi, yani nyinyi mmeshakosa kazi kabisa. Kazi yenu ni kudeal na Raila. Ah, basi Raila na wasumbua akili. Yani kama mnataka kuacha kazi, mnataka kuacha kazi, mnataka kudeal na Raila. Ah, hamna kitu cha kufanya bana. Tafuteni kitu kingine cha kufanya. Hiyo mtapambana mtaweza. And nyinyi ndo mnaamsha ugomvi. Mwambieni ukweli akina Rigathi Gacha wao ndo wanaiamsha huu ugomvi. Kusuluhisha ishu ambayo inaendelea sasa hivi sio kwenye kutupa maneno cheche ya maneno ambayo yanafanya watu wanagombana. Unaweza kufikiria na kudanganya, nataka nikupe nafasi usikilize Rigathi Gacha walivyozungumza. Niambie huu ni kiongozi wa aina gani. Sometimes huaga najaribu kuvumilia at least niseme ah, unajua serikali yetu no, huu jamaa kuna kitu ambacho anafanya. Huyu anataka watu wapigane tu. Yaani kwa anavyozungumza mtu anaweza akasema tu. You can tell from the way he is talking. Automatic utajua huyu jamaa anataka watu wapigane na ndio maana anazungumza hivyo. Sasa niwaulizeni. Raila kusema kesho watu wakutane kamkunja na kitu ambacho anataka kuambia watu. Shida iko wapi? Kwani Gashagwa siku hizi ameshakuwa interior cabinet secretary. Eti anataka ku na ra... Trust me, unajua acha niwaambie kitu kimoja. Mdomo mdomo usipochunga mdomo inaweza kuingiza kwenye moto ambao we mwenyewe hizo kazima. Kwa anavyo threaten hivyo Raila Amolodinga kwa kusema oh sijui nini mniachie huyo sijui deny. Kitu sasa hivi ni siwadanganye kikifanyikia vibaya things happen. Kitu sasa hivi ikimfanyikia Raila Amolodinga huenda isiwe ni yeye. Lakini anaweza akaona moto fulani wa ajabu sana. Trust me. Usiwahi kucheza na mtu ambaye watu wanampenda. Usiwahi wewe una power una bunduki una ni, mtu ambaye watu wanampenda wewe oh, unaweza ukachoma nchi mwambieni gashagwa anaweza akachoma akachoma nini nchi muda wote mbona watu wanamcheka tu yani <laughs> tazama hii video clip na ndio nataka kuambia huyo mzee ya maandamano tafadhali please 
enda tafuta wenye walikuwa wanakuunga mkono wachana na huyu rais wetu the president is busy he has work to do wewe umeenda umetafuta mzungu pale naitwa Jeffrey Smith ni mfanye kazi yako he has a contract with you he is a consultant unatuambia ati yako ati na ati whistle blowing didi amesema filimbi ilikuwa kule kwa world cup hii filimbi ni nini unafanya nayo sasa hii what you are doing tunakuonea itini wewe mzee wewe tunakuonea itini what you are doing is what you have done all the years 1997 ukashidwa na moi ukaleta kisirani ukamutisha nini nini ukaitwa you came to government through cooperation ukakuja ukaharibu serikali ya moi aliharibu wako haribu katoka hapo 2007 tukakulima na moi kebaki kaenda nyumbani ukaleta shida ukaitwa ukakuja through nusu mkate ukatatiza serikali ukakuja hapo tukakushinda 2013 ukatajaribu kuleta shida uhuru akitaka kuita wewe huyu alikuwa deputy yake akamwambia hapana wachana na hii mtu atatuharibia serikali 2017 tumekushinda umeleta kisirani umeuzia uhuru uoga Si alimuzia? Yeah. Sasa uhuru akanunua uoga, akamuita kwa serikali kwa hardship. Aliharibu serikali yetu wako haribu. Tukakwama. Unga ikatoka 90 shillings mpaka 230. Deni ikatoka 2 trillion mpaka 10 trillion. Vijana milioni sita hawana kazi. Watu CRB 14 million. Barabara zote sikasimama. Everything wewe Raila ukiwa na uhuru mkaharibu everything mkatuachia nchi hakuna chochote nikasema pale kasarani mkasema mimi ni mjeuri ati nisiongee mbele ya wazungu kwani wazungu si walikuwa hapa tukawafukuza kwani mnawaogopa si lazima tuseme ukweli sasa hii maneno unalete tunakujua unataka atikulete namna hii ati utuzie uoga ati tukuite ati vile tulienda hapa nyanza juzi ati unafikiria tunaweza kuita wewe wewe hapana uzia huyu rais wetu uoga. Eno ni chuma aguru. Hadi huo. Na wewe ndio wewe unaaja kiemwe. Eh? Rais wetu na kuomba kwa niaba ya wale tunakusaidia. Hii mambo ya hii mzee tuachie. Dawa ya hii mtu ni mtoto ya maumau. Wewe kaa kando. Kaa kando. Wewe rais please endelea na mambo ya uchumi, utusaidie. Mambo ya hustle as fund utusaidie utafute pesa ya kulipa barabara uniunge mkono na hawa utusaidie mambo ya chai kahawa mchele tusaidie mambo ya hii mzee weka kando weka kando ni huo eh hii mambo ya mzee tukiwa na hii akina ndede wa igoro wachia sisi lakini hatuwezi muacha wewe rais peke yake ndio utakaa kando huyu mzee tunamjua na mwenye kutuma na kuwapatia pesa anajulikana hata hii mbuge alikuwa ya daragwa mwenye kutuma ye tunamjua na wewe unatuma hii mjumbe ya daragwa siuongee wewe tukujibu mbona unatuma huyu mtu siuongee unamtuma ya nini na hiyo lugha ni yako hiyo lugha ya kuunganisha watu it is you we know you we see you we understand you don't say that fellow from daragwa talk yourself and we are here tumanyana na wewe huyu William Ruto huyu president wetu one of my duties as deputy president is to protect his leadership na hakuna mtu ambaye atagusa yeye na rais tafadhali waachane na mambo ya huyu mzee tuko hapa kuanzia kesho tutapanga panga na hao bila tutakaa na hiyo watu na hiyo maneno ya kupopana na hao tunajua hiyo so utatupatia nafasi wiki moja bili tuweke hao kwa laini wakiingia laini turudi kwa mambo ya kahawa na majani chai na maziwa In fact mimi nataka nimwambie uh, gashago wa kitu kimoja. Okay, mimi ni kijana najua ananizidi umri. Lakini kwa sababu hawezi akaonyesha heshima sehemu ambapo heshima inatakiwa kuonyeshwa, then hata mimi binafsi sidhani kama naweza nikamuonyesha heshima kwa sababu <laughs> tayari ananionyesha namna ya kuishi. So inabidi tuishi hivyo hivyo anavyo anavyo anavotaka sorry. So inabidi tuishi hivyo hivyo. Yeye aende akapange wale wanawake ambao waga wanawashonea 
hizo uniforms za UDA huko huko hizo uniforms za yellow huko sijui anatokaga wapi lakini najua anatokaga kule Mount Kenya mm. sasa hao ndio watu ambao wanaweza kadili nao isho kwenye kudili na ile hiyo awachane nayo kabisa yani hiyo hiyo hawezi hiyo hiyo e, tusidanganyane kama yani kushuka ku, ku, kushukisha bei ya unga imemshinda kushukisha Raila Odinga itakuwa ni itakuwa ni mchezo so yani hiyo hapo hapo tusiagiu na nipata i think hapo watu wetu tukaagiu kabisa we voted for you to deal with the high cost of living let Raila play his role as the opposition leader hapo chini a reckless statement coming from a deputy president what unites us is more important than what divides us embrace dialogue and avoid such retrogressive utterance okay umeona kabisa watu wanavyozungumza mimi nataka nikupe tu reactions za watu sera anasema if bringing down cost of living alone is out of your league then don't even talk about maumau wachana hata na raila that institution is a story of another day <laughs> I pity President Ruto if this is the choice of deputy president he wanted always having loose tongue Sio maneno yangu wewe mwenyewe unajionea hapo kwenye screen yako The day he will cross Raila will be the day he will understand he is a toddler in politics pawn in a game Son of Mamau is very clear he didn't utter such words akiwa Nyanza eh <laughs> Maneno kama haya hawezi akazungumza akiwa Nyanza ukitaka kujua ni mdomo tu wako nayo gashagwa Unaniona eh? So mambo ni kama hayo mtazamaji wangu. Comments ni nyingi hapa. Hizi hata sidhani kama naweza nikasisoma zote jamani. Comments ni nyingi hapa kweli kweli. Ni yako tu ndo sijaona mtazamaji wangu. Niachie maoni yako hapo chini kwenye same comments. Niambie wewe hii issue unaizungumziaje? Jamaa na mdomo kama sijui nini wewe sasa jamaa. Kashonee wanawake fulani ambao wanawapeaga huko nani? huko manguo za UDA huko akashonea hao wanawake achane na Raila. Deal na hao wanawake sio Raila. Sababu alishatuonyesha kwamba aweza ka respect wakubwa wake hata sisi hatuwezi tukam respect. It's very simple. Yaani kama tu respect, kama respect wakubwa wake sisi pia tum respect. It's very simple. Tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata. Bye bye.